All right, let's see what new R53 Mini Cooper parts we got today. This is an unboxing of the AEM Water Methanol Injection Kit, part number 30-3300 H2 Injection Kit version 2. Uh, I guess it's internal map and it comes with a one gallon tank. Uh, this was purchased from outmotoring.com and uh, I received it recently. I'm quite excited about this product. Um, as you can see by the outside of the box, uh, lots of marketing material. Run cooler intake temps, lower EGTs, run more boost, more timing, make more power. Overall, it's plus, 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 plus. Please note that there are some racing bodies that do not allow you to use these, so it's really more of a drag racing and uh, street product. So go through the, the box here and take a look at what's on it. And uh, one thing I will say is it is quite heavy, and I'm assuming that's because of the high volume pump that's in it. All right, let's uh, get into this puppy. Okay, so got it backwards. First thing we got is stop. This product has legal restrictions. Read this before installing and using. Um, it says it uh, may be used on vehicles used in sanctioned competition, may never be used on a public road or highway, blah blah blah. That's all that's on this page. Well, wow, packaging looks uh, pretty good, looks very, very compact in here. First thing we got is some hose. Uh, I'm sure there's quite a bit there, probably more than anyone will ever really need unless you have a station wagon and you have this mounted at the very back of the vehicle. Right there. I've got a multi-color, very extensive wiring harness here. Um, and uh, it's a lot to it. I'm sure the instructions are just as lengthy as well. Got a bit more hose here. Not quite sure where exactly this would be used versus the other hose that came, which is a different material. Maybe this is just from the tank to the pump, and that's from the pump to the injection injector itself. The packing. Got uh, some wire loom. It's always nice. Looks like this kit will probably have absolutely every single thing we need in it. A little bit more rubber, and I'm not sure what this is for. Um, as you can see here, it, it goes around something. Um, maybe along the side of the plastic or some other component we haven't pulled out yet. But uh, again, extensive kit. We have a plastic, or sorry, we have a, a sealed little baggie here. Uh, looks like there's a lot of stuff in there. I'm almost hesitant to open it. But I'm sure it goes along the lines of having everything you need. So let's just put a little cut here and see what we got. Looks like we have a whole bunch of everything you might need to install this kit. Tie straps. Butt connectors. All kinds of crimpable stuff. A light. I wonder what that's for. It's probably a go no go. It's green, so I guess green means good. Bunch of stuff. I'm sure we can get more into this once you read the directions. So I can get this all back in here now. Okay. Note to self don't lose this bag. <laughs> we got another one. That is a whole bunch. Of screws and washers. Let's see how many actually. Like I said it's a whole bunch. Look at all that. Look at all this gear. I don't think you'll want for anything in this kit, honestly. Different size washers, bolts, screws, nuts. Absolutely anything you can you could think of probably. It's all in here. I almost wish this uh, came with some sort of list to tell you everything it had so just you could double check and make sure you had everything but uh, note to self don't lose that bag either. Over here we've got a little box with the part number on it of 354550 and that we've got let's 
see. Looks like the brains. It's a water methanol injection controller. This guy's got a boost connector here. Start PSI, full PSI, test, whole bunch of stuff. I guess this is where the wiring harness connects to. It's got a fuse on it. Very, very important. Let's put that back away. Box safekeeping. We have the one gallon tank itself. Now, uh, looks like some sort of wiring harness plugs in here. This is where the methanol comes out of. Whole bunch of mounting options here. Cap detached so you can't lose it. Idiot proof, just like uh, strings on your gloves when you were a kid. Now, my understanding is, is you do not want to try to tighten any of these fittings on it because they've used some sort of epoxy and if you try to tighten them it'll, it'll screw it up and it'll probably leak. Now this has to be the pump. I see there's another bag and some other stuff in here. Okay so here's a harness which I guess connects to the tank itself. This is probably for um, reporting on it being low because it has a low methanol sensor. That's my guess on that one anyways. There's also, I saw a little bag in here. Oh, this looks like this is our, our injectors. Uh, I'm not sure, or our injector, because there's one, this isn't a direct port nitrous kit or anything like that. So we got it. Now, I don't know if these are other ones in here are different sizes or replacement or what, but uh, it's for someone else to figure out. It's possible these are different size jets. Yes, they are. You can tell just by looking at it. That's a lot, that's quite small compared to that one. So I guess this comes with three different jet sizes. That's exciting. Just means lots and lots and lots of tuning, trial and error, and hopefully not blowing anything. Let's get all this back in here. And the pump itself. Now this thing is heavy. Take a look at that. Pretty heavy duty. I like how it has uh, rubber mounted uh, isolator mounts, I guess, so that vibration doesn't affect it. We've got a model number, seal number, a whole bunch of information on it. Obviously, a positive and negative wire on it. But yeah, this is quite heavy. In and out. I guess it goes this way. That right there. And, looks like we have some other stuff right here at the bottom. Ah uh, yes, we have one sticker. Once again guys, manufacturers, you guys need to start putting two, not one. One doesn't cut it. Got some marking material for a fail safe device that they make, as well as it looks like they have a, a filter. Looks interesting, wish I'd known about this beforehand, I, I might have got them. And of course, the instructions. Look at this. All double sided. 19 pages. Wow, that's impressive. So, um, this has been an unboxing of the AEM water methanol injection kit 30 3300, the one gallon tank and pump. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel.